वेलकम बैक गैस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द सेटअप ऑफ अवर बैक एंड एनवायरनमेंट और नोट जेस एनवायरनमेंट सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन द डेटाबेस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन सो वी विल सी हाउ टू कनेक्ट द मॉंगोडी बी अटलास एस वेल एस द मॉंगोडी बी कंपास टू अवर नोट जेस so first of all you have to create a database in the mongodb atlas then only you can able to use that database in the local machine that means mongodb compass so first of all open google so if you are aware of how to create the database and how to connect with the node js you can skip this lecture and you can you can watch it from the next lecture so this is also for the beginners only because they don't know how to connect the database how to create the mongodb atlas all those things so that's the reason i'm going to showing this so type mongodb atlas so you can open the first website so in this mongodb atlas if you do not have any account first of all create that account so i am opening with my account click on this sign in so it is free you can use it up to the 500 mb of fee space so i will log in with my google credentials so you can see here i have logged in with my google credentials so this is my email so i have logged in with these emails so after logging in or uh, your interface should be like this so here we have to create the database so how to create the database it's very simple you can able to see here collections so you just need to click on this collections so it's loading so you can see here these are the list of databases so these are my previous databases so now i am going to create the new database create database so here you have to write the database name so the database name is i am going to write mon rooms or you can use share rooms mon rooms so by default you have to create any one collection because without collection the mongodb will not create the database so you can use this sample as our collection name and click on this create so you can see here so our mon e-commerce database not mon e-commerce mon rooms database created successfully so now we have to use these mongodb atlas in our local machine that means mongodb compass so how can we use it so it's very simple the mongodb atlas provides one url to use that in the mongodb compass so it's just very simple so click on this overview not overview it this atlas click on this atlas and here you can see you should be able to see this connect button click on this connect so here you have to select the third one connect using mongodb compass so this is the gui for our application so here you have to copy this link so you need to learn, you need to study these lines so you will be prompted for the username and the password so this is the username and this is the password so in these tags you have to write your own credentials so if you don't know how to create the own credentials i will show you that so first of all copy this link and click on this database access so here you can see uh, already by default we will get some details so if you don't want to use the details you can just directly create the add new database user so if you create this you can able to add the username and password so already i have my credentials so i will use this so open mongodb compass so i'll open mongodb compass so if you haven't downloaded it please download it is very useful because every time we need not to go to the google chrome mongodb atlas everything so you can directly open the database in our local machine only so it will take some time to initialize and load all preferences and plugins yeah it is done so here you have to paste that url so the url which you have copied 
so in place of username you have to write your username and in place of password you have to write your password that's it now i'm going to click on this connect you can see here I have logged in with my credentials in the MongoDB Compass. So you can able to see our newly created collection also. That means database also. So this is the Mon Rooms. So if you open this, you should be able to see one collection which is the sample collection. Mon Rooms. Here you can see this is the sample collection. So by this, we have successfully created the database in the MongoDB Atlas and we have added that database to the MongoDB Compass also. So you have to create both mongodb atlas as well as the mongodb compass both are same but if you have mongodb compass every time you need not to open the google chrome and mongodb atlas and all that url stuff etc you can simply open this gui and you can perform all the operations so it will be directly directly reflected to your own database so now minimize this database and now you have to connect the database to the application node.js server so open vs code so this is our application so now so i am going to create a new file with the name db.js so this file is for the database configuration so here we are going to use the mongoose as our mongodb client so first of all let me install that npm install mongoose so with the help of mongoose we can simplify the mongodb operations so you need not to write any queries so it will take care of all those things and now i will restart the server nodemon server press enter you can see here the server has restarted successfully now i am going to create the mongodb connection with the help of this mongoose package first of all you have to initialize the mongoose require mongoose const mongoose is equal to require mongoose now you have to connect the database with the help of this mongoose package so if you want to know how to connect the node.js and the mongodb database use using mongoose you have the uh, Mongo mongoose documentation also so you can refer the mongoose documentation or i will show you that in the directly so the first you have to create one variable where mongo url is equal to so here we have to paste the url that we have copied from the mongodb so already we have this in the mongodb compass so here also you need to replace the same things so here i am writing directly so usually we use it to write these uh, variables and the names in the process.env files so later we will change that first of all let me complete this setup so i will replacing the username and i'm going to replace the password also so while deploying please make sure that you should not keep these uh, important things in the direct files so you have to uh, keep that in the env process.env so later in the last i will create that so as of now we can ignore so now you have to connect this mongoose dot connect so this mongoose.connect accepts three parameters the first one is url that means link so already we are having the link in the mongo url and the second one is safety parameters so the mongoose follows two safety parameters the first one is use unified topology use unified topology so you have to specify it is true and the third one is use new url parser it is also true so the two parameters are the mongodb url and the safety parameters so we have two safety parameters use unified topology and use new url parser so these are mandatory things when you are going to connect the node.js and mongodb using the mongoose so then we have to create one connection variable where connection equal to mongoose dot connection 
that's it so now we have to verify whether this connection is successful or not now i'm going to write the callback functions connection dot on so if it is having any error so now i'm going to write the callback function and i will print the response in the console mongodb connection failed mongodb connection failed so this is the error parameter if there is no error th that means connection dot on connected if it is connected successfully here also i am going to write the callback function console dot log mongodb connection successful what is the connection successful that's it here you have to export this object because we are going to use this db.js in the server.js module dot exports is equal to mongoose that's it control s so now in the server.js we need to import this db.js so after the app dot after the app i will write const db config equal to require colon slash db control s so after pressing control s the code which is written in the db.js will be executed because we are adding it in the server.js which is the entry point of our application now i am going to press the control s so it is restarting node.js server started using nodemon here you can see mongodb connection successful so in the db.js here at the last you have to change the database name so instead of test you have to write your own database name so our database name is so mon hyphen rooms so you just need to keep it mon hyphen rooms control s that's it so by this we have completed the entire setup of our back end as well as the front end so from the next lecture we are going to start the implementation of our core concepts uh, like adding the data in the mongodb retrieving the rooms to the front end uh, booking rooms all those things etc so the basic things are completed so from the next lecture we are going to move into the complex things thank you